Good afternoon. It, it's really a pleasure to be in, uh, in San Francisco, especially when uh, you look after an industry like, like high tech, you feel a little bit at home uh, here because there is a lot of uh, high tech companies, obviously. And in the last uh, few days, I see uh, some friends from Dassault System. We visited a lot of customers in, in the Valley. And daring to talk to you about innovation is kind of a challenge because you guys know innovation very, very well. But we are still going to try to share with you some, uh, some thoughts and uh, show you a little bit of what we are doing in this space of socialization. In the last 30 years, most of you, most of us in this room have been working on shipping products. Shipping products on requirements, shipping products on quality, shipping products on cost, shipping products on time. But more and more companies are actually looking at um, this world of innovation in different manners. One is, how do I break through from the competition? Pretty much everybody is using the same components, the same engineering methods, the same tools, the same supply chains. So then the question is, how do you make a difference from the competition? The second one is, how do you re-energize an entire product portfolio? How do you re-energize a category? When you do smartphones, it was kind of cool 20 years ago to be the very first guys inventing new smartphones or 15 years ago. But now, this is really challenging to create a new smartphone. When you do washing machine, it's not easy. When you do telecom equipment, it's not easy. So how do you re-energize through innovation an entire portfolio? And last but not least, how do you reconnect? How do you reconnect with your customer when all the objects are full of sensors and actuators? when all these objects start to pump data, how do you transform all of this information coming from the objects, coming from the experience of these objects, into probably the best CRM system that you can think of? So based on that, we said, OK, let's look at some companies who are quite advanced in open innovation, and let's try to understand what they do. And if we can help them, why not? When we look at some of these companies, they go, as Monica said, through a pretty intense effort of experience thinking. And they really go beyond the traditional boundaries of product engineering. And they really embrace open innovation and social innovation. You see here three examples of companies who are approaching customer experiences in very different ways. On the left side, you see a company who decided to uh, improve, uh, enrich, the consumer experience. It's Nike with a fuel bound, not very new. It was a few years back. But Nike, at that point, decided to go beyond selling running gears and running shoes and decided to enter in a new category of product to make the overall experience much better and much sticky. The second example is a French company, truly global now, called Parrot. Uh, they are, they were, and they are the leader of Bluetooth uh, headsets. Uh, Bluetooth, sorry, Bluetooth uh, stack, technology stack, that is embedded in most of the automotive entertainment systems that are in roughly 60, 70 percent of the cars uh, running on the roads today. But a few years back, they said, OK, we are the leader in Bluetooth uh, technologies and entertainment system for the car industry. What can we do to create new revenue streams? It's not about, as we saw with Nike, improving an experience but really creating new experiences. And here, Parrot, the second company, decided to create these little drones. You see here on this picture, the new one, just launched uh, three days ago, big customer of uh, Dassault System. And they have today generated a little bit more than 48% of their total revenue with this new product that didn't exist even two years ago. Third example, it's about enhancing the experience, making the experience of the product even better. Here you see a washing machine from a customer from Dassault System, Miele, in Germany. And they decided to go beyond manufacturing and shipping washing machines. They have decided to create a full set of services uh, surrounding the machine to install, maintain, repair, and also deliver at your home all the detergent and washing powder that you need to run your machine based on your consumption. 
So what these companies have in common is that they constantly think out of the box on how to enhance, redesign, or create new experiences. When we worked with them and many other companies, we saw actually that there is a sort of uh, chemistry, there is a sort of a formula of what open innovation is and how it works together. And at the end of the day, it boils down to these three big bubbles. It's about people and talents and skills coming together. It's about methods, process, workflows to make sure that nothing is lost. And it's about tools, tools and software. And this is where we play. But when we think about the software, and you are going to see a demo in a few minutes, we really think constantly in these three dimensions of connecting people, process, and technologies in the same environment to facilitate this open innovation process. So enough slides. We are going to show you a little bit of that in action. And I'm going to welcome on stage uh, Vincent, who is the head of a solution that we developed at Dassault System called uh, Socialization. Vincent? Thank you. Thank you, Olivier. So I'm pleased to show you what we did, the work we did with uh, working with many customers and partners around the open innovation. And today we are going to show you uh, how we socialize uh, the innovation process, so the upstream innovation process, uh, uh, enhancing the way we do it with the 3D Expanse platform. And here we are going to show you a demonstration where we come from an end-to-end -end process coming from market analysis to ideas validation, all possible with the 3D Expanse platform. So what do we invent here? What do we want to invent? So today we are going to tell a story about a new smartwatch, mm -hmm. which is an extension of our offering, which would be uh, an extension of the car experience we are um, delivering today. So we are a car manufacturer and we want to provide something new, differentiating exactly. from the traditional car and provide something that will work with the car, exactly. provided by the OEM. So okay. it's completely new for us. We did not know anything about smartwatches. So we started by, please, yeah. So we started on, we, <laughs> so. <laughs> That's Freddie Mini from NetVibes yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> with a beautiful technology we have here, which is called NetVibes. And any innovation projects need to understand new domain. And here we, we created some lot of dashboards around new topics like IoT, like smart home, anything else but cars. And especially we monitored some trends about smartwatches. So pointing at uh, key websites, key bloggers, key influencers. To Forums, Facebook, yeah, tweets, yeah, yeah, and so on and so forth. To be able to know the weak signal and be alerted once everything is, is important. So it's not just a dumb monitoring and passive listening. We're no, actually no, no. monitoring real time, but also analyzing real time what's yeah. going on and detecting trends and patterns. Yeah, exactly. And, and the power of this is that, OK, you understand the market. But what is more powerful is that you can share and boost innovation community with fresh news, fresh insights about, about the market. And here we see that we directly share the articles in the 3D Experience platform through automatic news newsletter or people connected that can share the article to aware all the people that are connected from inside or outside the company of the new trends. So what we just saw here is this capacity from the platform to feed broadly distributed communities of people coming together to start to think and invent uh, a new product or a new experience. Yes, that's it. So if we continue down the circle of uh, innovation, what's next? So of course it's an iterative process, but here we see that, of course, innovation is about gathering ID. So we continue doing physical brainstorming session using experience thinking methodology. And at the end of this session, so we gather the ideas, we capture the ideas in the platform. So we are sure we do not lose it. So it's a sort of a digital post-it note, but a little bit smarter than post-it note. Yeah, that's it. So what is this blue, uh, blue green funnel that we see here? So here we are using uh, the platform to be able to mature the idea, to, to, to go to the process of maturation. So all the people connected coming from inside the company and key player from outside, so like startups, like bloggers. So it like, works in the cloud? Yeah, it's okay. on the cloud. So we connect very easily to the ecosystem. And then we mature the idea until the last step which is the one that describes at a high level uh, the watch we are going to, 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 uh, to uh, manufacture. So we don't have a product yet, but we start to move from noise outside to some initial ideas. And the good thing is that we, as we saw, we never lose a good idea. All the, even the most stupid ideas are going to be captured and matured over time to make sure that there is no lack of uh, connection between the teams and, and the concept that could be interesting for, for creating a new product. Let's continue. So the next one is about, okay, here we have 
a key differentiator with our platform because we are connecting so the unstructured world we saw before, the social network world, with the enterprise world. And here we have the project manager ensuring at each time that the, product, the project is ongoing well and all the ideas that are mature in the right level. And here we have a lot of different aspects of project management, which are resources, costs. Uh, so we are in Enovia now? Yeah, we is. are in Enovia, exactly. And here yeah. we go back to the requirement management and we retrieve the IDs that we manu manu ma mature, and then we retrieve it as new requirement for the product. So let me make sure that I understand. So we were in an unstructured world of ideas and brainstorm, and in yes. the same environment, in the same platform, with the same data model, we are actually moved into the world of requirements and we are pre-engineering phase. Yeah, this is, this is the power of it. And then all these requirements you see, the, you see here are going to evolve during the whole development product and keeping at each time the traceability with the initial ID. Okay. So we move from ideas to action. Uh, yes. We start to become really close to having something that we can give to the engineering team to, to work on. Next. So next one is about prototyping ID. So ID can be a lot of things. ID can be a service, can be a usage. Here it's about the new device we wanted to develop. And here we have unique technology with Katia to break the barrier really between paper and, and 3D. And here we have designers coming from inside or outside, of course. We have agencies working with us uh, and, and producing more concepts in the same amount of time with this, with this technology. Yes, something I would like to comment on here is that we have been working with several uh, ideation and advertising and communication agencies who are actually using this platform as a tool to moderate a brainstorming session. So instead of just being on whiteboards and paperboards and post-it notes, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. uh, they are actually uh, capturing real time during the brainstorm session, everything that's happening, capturing everything in the platform and moving into the, the next stage of uh, fabrication and manufacturing. So here they are actually prototyping it. Yeah, yeah, just imagine just after the brainstorming session, they get a prototype of the ID generated just in a few, few hours. That's beautiful. So we are moving from ideas to more and more reality and we are becoming tangible. So I think that we are pretty much at the, at the yeah. end of the process. Is there something? The end is, oh. last but not least, it's very important because uh, all the key players around the world are connected on the same platform. Yeah. So we get feedback uh -huh. from people. So I'm coming from different geography, different cultures, and they were able to, to, uh, to comment, to share new ideas, to, and so we can validate all the concepts that has been published on the, on the platform. So everything that you are looking at here is actually real code, real product. This is not a proof of concept, this is not a, a brainstorm, Available. this is not a montage or a collage, this is actual code yeah. in production that works on premise and in the cloud to allow collaborative uh, engineering and collaborative and de uh, development. So we are still in the 3D experience platform here. Yes. We are uh, an executive reviewing the project. That was an executive yeah, view. Yeah. And um, since we have been creating all of that in Katia, in the latest version of Katia, you saw that uh, the little video a few seconds ago was showing the product rendered with a super, super high quality. So we did a team-driven validation. That's pretty much uh, the end of the f overall, uh, overall process. Thanks a lot, Vincent. Thanks, <clears throat> So this platform allows us, allows you, to go through all of these phases with absolutely uh, continuity. Uh, there is full digital continuity from the very beginning to the end. There is no disruption. There is no uh, many, many tools or platforms or technologies uh, disconnected from each other. All of that is in the same, same environment, same platform. If you want to know uh, a little bit more about that, uh, I encourage you to go uh, online on 3ds.com on the industry uh, sections dedicated to a high tech on this solution called social ideation. We were talking, Monica was talking about internet of experience and internet of things. I really, really encourage you to grab downstairs. Uh, you will see that in the main entrance, this magazine called Compass. This is a 3ds uh, Dassault system magazine. And this issue that just got uh, of the hot, hot of the press uh, is fully dedicated to the topic of Internet of Things and Internet of Experience. And you can also uh, follow us uh, on Twitter if you want to know more. And there is a session on iTech right after uh, this plenary. We encourage you to uh, stop by. Have a fantastic afternoon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.